we need to move on. All right, so now we're going to sew a dart, and with the dart, generally you have the the two notches at the top, and you have a drill hole to show the the end of the dart. And when you sew a dart, you fold it in half so that the the top uh, the notches match up, and you work down towards the dart and just go past it a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to show you a, an easy method. If you have trouble, because sometimes sewing that length, you can actually you can curve it, it can go the wrong way, and you don't get a very nice dart. So this is an easy method of coming up with a with a very nice dart. All right, so um, we know our dart length is this long. So the first thing you need to do is just pull your thread and pull your thread so that it's a lot longer than the actual dart. Now with that thread, we just want to pu pull the thread towards the back um, before we start. Um, sewing. So we'll match up our notches and we're just going to put the, the two notches under the foot there and angle the, the fabric so that it is actually headed off, you know, so you've got a straight line coming down towards towards the drill hole. So we'll do our back tack, so just a couple of stitches and then now that we've got the back tack secure, this thread secure, we actually pull the thread down and we line the thread up with where you want the dart to end, which is generally a centimetre past the drill hole. Okay, and pull that. So you get a, a little bit of tension on there. Don't pull it too tight, but enough tension so that it's actually straight. And then hold your fingers towards the centre. And then you actually use the thread as a guide, keeping your eye on the drill hole. And then when we get down to the end, we get to the fold of the fabric. Just do a little back tack. Again, it just has to be a couple of stitches, like two stitches back and then two stitches forward. Um, don't go crazy with the back tack because it could be that if you back tack too much that you'll actually run back into the fabric here. Now you can see that I haven't actually stitched over this thread so it's come out quite easily. If you find that you've stitched over the thread and you're holding it in place you can just get your snips in there and you can snip it to get to get rid of the excess thread. So there we have our, a nice a nice straight line here and you'll see we'll open this up and give it a press and you've got a nice um, a nice dart. Done. All right, so we're going to press the dart now and the idea what happens sometimes if you just if you just press it flat you can you know you can make this big extra pleat on the the, um, the right side here. So you can see that if I if I pull this a little bit and I get the um, get the the point of the 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 iron in in there and then I work from the top up and flatten the dart out. So you don't work from the top down, work from the, the bottom up, pressing it this way and and, and press press along towards the 